All right, my name is Julius Nagy. I am an assistant professor of chemistry. Uh, teach general chemistry this year, and in the future we'll be teaching analytical chemistry and possibly some other chemistry courses that uh, we will add to the curriculum or things that haven't been taught in a while. What I teach at Siena are the basic chemistry courses. It'll be general chemistry, analytical chemistry, possibly in organic chemistry. We'll make some decisions as to what we're going to add to the curriculum. Um, I, what I try to do in my courses is to share the knowledge that I gained from my corporate experience where I worked for over 20 years doing product development R&D. Try to bring that flavor into each of the courses that I teach. Chemistry courses kind of by nature aren't very discussion oriented because there's a lot of information to transfer and usually the instructor is the one with the information trying to deliver it to the students. But what I try to do is when I get to certain points where I have examples from my corporate experience how a chemical is used or a certain experiment is used. I try to pull that experience into the lecture so it's not as dry as just delivering information to the student. I also try to ask the students for examples from the real world or examples from their experience. A lot of times students have taken chemistry in high school or they've taken biology courses somewhere else and sometimes we can pull on that information too so it's not a strictly my delivering information, I try to make it as discussion oriented as I can when the topic allows. As I said, one of the things I try to do is try to draw from my personal experiences and included in those personal experiences my time that I spent at an undergraduate school that also had a liberal arts tradition. And it's one of the reasons I came to Siena Heights because I think that liberal arts background is really important once you get outside the walls of the university into the real world you're able, you get a chance to see different things, talk to people with different backgrounds who are coming at things from different perspectives. When you become a student here, that's going to help you in the first year or two figure out if you have the right major and if you don't, what the right major is for you. And you also get a flavor that once you get out of the university, your first job will be dictated by your major, but after that you can go in a lot of different directions. And the liberal arts background gives you that ability to move from position to position based on what you enjoy doing and what you're good at, rather than just staying put in the field where you get your degree. All right, as far as important things you should know about Siena Heights and making a decision as to whether to attend here, our faculty is very highly committed to teaching, uh, making sure that the student gets the information they need to be able to go on to the next course and pursue things in their major. They're also very committed to what they do. And while I realize that a lot of schools, in fact every school should be saying that about their faculty, the difference at Siena Heights is you have small class sizes and you also have the Dominican tradition which overlays everything that happens here and make sure that when you graduate with a Siena Heights degree, it's meaningful to you and it will mean something out when you're pursuing your career.